Hi, welcome back to Mrs. O'Gram's Maths. We are going to put two little pieces of helpful stuff into one video today, and that is radians and special triangles. This will help you with your trigonometry um, that you need to go on and use on some later things. So first of all, let's recap what a radian is. So it's to do with radius. If we have a radius here and a radius here that's creating this um, segment, now if the section of the circumference covered is also the same length as a radius then that determines that the angle that's created at the center of that segment is one radian so that angle is created when the arc length is equal to the radius we get a measure of one radian now a circumference is equal to 2 pi r so that means that our radius fits into the circumference 2 pi times so that means that a full circle, which is 360 degrees if we're measuring in degrees, is equal to 2 pi radians. And we can then um, scale that down so that 180 is equal to pi. And that's the basics of operations for anything where you need to convert between radians and degrees. Now, if your uh, measurements for the angle have a pi in them, you don't need to bother writing the radian part of that. So I haven't written pi radians there. If it has pi, we know that it's in radians. If it was in degrees, we would have the little degree circle symbol um, there too. So we're going to take a look at two examples of doing those conversions, um, one going each way. So remember that 180 degrees is equal to pi. That's our um, starting point for any of this. So for 60 degrees, we can see how much of a proportion of 180 is 60 degrees. So 60 over 180 is equal to a third. So this will be a third pi, or usually we'd write that as pi by three radians. So we divide by 180 and multiply it by pi. So we're working out what proportion of 180 we have and then converting that into a measure of pi. And we do it the other way around if we want to convert um, pi radians into degrees. So here we've got three quarters pi. So we want to work out what proportion of pi do we have. So divide that by pi and we will get three quarters. Those pi's would cancel out there uh, and then multiply by 180. So we want three quarters of 180, which is 135. So for that one, we divide by pi times by 180. So now let's take a look at the special triangles that we can use to get some exact values. Now these are really helpful when you're doing trig so that you can write exact answers and not need to round to decimals, especially when you're working in radians. Now this, this first type of special triangle comes from starting with an equilateral triangle that's got sides of two which makes this angle here 60 degrees, which we just saw on the other slide, is the same as pi by 3. And I'm going to keep all the measurements in radians just to help you get used to them. Now we start with the equilateral triangle, but we end up just taking half of it. So we have this half of the triangle here that gives us a right angled triangle, which means we can use Pythagoras to work out this side will be root 3. And this angle here is half of the 60, which is 30 degrees, which in radians is pi by 6. Now from that, we can get all of the exact trig values for 30 degrees or 60 degrees, or if you're in radians, pi by 6 or pi by 3. We can do sine, cos and tan on them just using our trig ratios. I'll summarize them in a table. So if we start with, let's say, the um, pi by 3, and we wanted to do cos of pi by 3. Well, cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent is 1, the hypotenuse is 2. So cos of pi by 3 will be 1 over 2, or a half. If we take another one, tan of pi by 6. So I'd sketch up myself this little triangle. Tan is the opposite over the adjacent. So for pi by 6, the opposite is 1, the adjacent is root 3. So tan of pi by 6 is 1 over root 3. And you can go ahead and do all the rest of them too. The other type of special triangle is an isosceles right angled triangle. Now if it's isosceles, um, we have these angles 
are 45 degrees on both of those um, sloping corners. We set the uh, equal sides to be equal to 1, which helps us to do Pythagoras over here. So we have the square root of 2 on the hypotenuse. And now we can do the same again that we did uh, for um, the angles and just add in another set to our table. Now 45 degrees, that's a quarter of pi. So, or a quarter of 180, that makes it pi by 4 when we're converting that into radians. So we can add pi by 4 as one of the values that we can work out an exact value for. So sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, so that's 1 over root 2, and carry on with those. And then um, tan is the uh, opposite over the adjacent, which is 1 over 1, which just gives us 1. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to do trigonometry on these values of pi by 6, pi by 3, and pi by 4, which in degrees for your you know, just ease of use here, we'll make that 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 45 degrees. You should be recognizing that you can give those answers as exact values and not need to give decimals which are inaccurate. All right, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, then please click on the like button below. Um, it helps other people to find these videos that can help them out too.